Hey guys, what's up? So I know that there's a lot of people in their emotions right now, and that's natural. You gotta, you know, you gotta let it pass. You gotta get it out of your system. You know, that's understandable. And I know a lot of people are mad at Errol Spence. And Errol Spence is being targeted right now, but I'm just gonna tell you guys some, some real stuff and you need to listen. Cause I feel sorry for the dude. Uh, Spence is surrounded by a lot of demons, guys. I'm telling you that right now. What I saw was sad. Right after the stoppage, one of the first things Derek James tells Spence is you got to activate that rematch, like, immediately. Like, dude, are you serious? Are you serious? This man just took the beating of his life. You understand? That beating's worse than the car wreck, guys. That took years off of Spence. I thought Crawford, well, Crawford could have got him out of there sooner. I know I told you guys middle round stoppage. You know what I'm saying? Everything else we were on point, but the middle round stoppage, Crawford could have easily stopped that man in the fifth or sixth round. You understand? But Crawford was over there slow roasting him, dude. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Crawford put a beating on that dude, and he, like, <laughs> he, like, uh, you know, spread it out, you know? You guys saw the fight, you heard all my videos, you guys know what I said. We told you it just come to punch placement and timing, guys. Spence, you know, you found out what a real jab is and that jab was doing damage too. Spence, you know, he just, we knew he wasn't gonna throw the volume and all that, he was gonna be more cautious. But Crawford, man, I, hey, you know, he went in there and did what he was supposed to. But the punch placement timing, and again, the feet was a problem. Uh, until the later rounds, when he started, when Crawford started being more stationary and standing in his ground more, Spence started to open up, but Crawford again, he was just slow roasting him, you know. Let him get his shots off, and then when it's time, come with accurate, hard, impactful, damaging shots, guys. Give me a minute. But Spence, he has a group of bad influences around him. And they're just using him. They don't care about his well-being. All throughout this lead up, what were they talking about? He ain't, well, you know, we can get in it. He ain't fought no one who cares at this point. But they were saying that it's worse to take punishment than to get knocked out. And you know Spence, he does punish opponents, he does. But Spence was getting punished while getting knocked down multiple times. That was a Barachnik, uh Zapata type fight. Except for you weren't, you know, matching Crawford in the knockdowns. I'm telling you that fight took years off of uh, Spence's career, easily, easily. He needs to really consider what he's doing. He needs to talk to his dad. He needs to talk to his mom. He don't need to be talking to Derek James. He does not need to be talking to Al Heyman or none of them dudes. I'm telling you, he's surrounded by demons. This dude needs to give his life to Christ ASAP. And I'm being serious with you guys. And I know a lot of you are mad. You're mad at him. You're taking your frustrations out. He needs support right now, you know? That man's in trouble right now. When I saw Derek James, like, we gotta activate that rematch. Oh man, dude, you are a demon, period, period. You left him in there to take that beating. Like I said, after you guys were talking about punishments worse than uh, getting knocked out, man. <laughs> Telling you guys, man. But Crawford, we told you as well, you're not stopping God's work. There was more to this fight than meets the eye. I'm trying to tell you guys that, you know? We broke down the technical aspect of it. We went over the physical part of it, but it, just the phenomenon that I saw around this fight, man, I'm trying to tell you, it was more than just a fight, <laughs> you know? But it's over now. They may do the rematch, that's cool. He probably wants one more paycheck. That's fine, but he needs to understand. 
Crawford could have got him out of there sooner. Crawford didn't even go to the body on him that much. Crawford did not even go to the body that much. He kept it up top for most, you know, the fight. He had, we told you Bud likes to make people eat their words. You guys were talking about Spence's jab. You know, you're talking about Spence being the bigger, stronger guy and the harder hitter. Dude, that jab was wicked, guys. That jab was hurting him. That jab was uh, making that brain uh, buckle around in that skull. Do you understand? That man's going to need to take some time off. What is it, July, August, September, October? He should take this fight next year, to be honest. He should recover a little bit. It's just going to be like Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Like, you're just going to get worse. We told you how Spence, how he dips low. And how we and we told you that Crawford's able to land those types of punches and sometimes they land to the back of the head. That's what happened on that last where they stopped the fight during that sequence. <clears throat> and then just has too many bad habits and he makes too many mistakes. And quite frankly, I would consider getting a different trainer. Derek James is not a real trainer, guys. He was still in there talking about focus, guys. You gotta stay focused. Dude, it's too late. This man's already been knocked down like three times. What are you talking about focus for? What about defense and everything else? They did ask him what, you know, does he think they let the layoff had anything to do with it and the timing? Hey, even if he gets his timing back to what he's normally at his optimum, you know what I'm saying? You still don't have that great of punch placement timing. It's your style. You know what I'm saying? You would have to change a lot up, Errol Spence, to really have a real chance. And again, Crawford could have got you out of there earlier. My prediction would have been 100% correct. If Crawford, you know. But even if he gets his timing on better, you understand, you're still not on the level of Terrence Crawford when it comes to punch placement timing. It has everything to do with your style. You practice too long to be an inaccurate puncher. Like I said, when Crawford was there shelled up, you saw how, you know, he grows a pair of balls and starts throwing volume. You know, Crawford, he was, like I said, he was slow roasting. And I think he was playing with his food too much. I think he could have got him out of there a lot sooner. And again, he didn't even incorporate the body punching. That's another thing Team Spence needs to understand. Crawford beat you with just a couple tools, man. He didn't even have to use three or four tools in this fight. He really just needed two. It was all from the jab. You understand? We told you about the jab. We told you about what a real jab is, guys. And then he started to hook off the jab. And from there, it was pretty much over. We told you that Spence, he does the same redundant thing. You can't do that versus Terrence Crawford. I don't know what to tell you. I told you he was going to get clipped early, making all those mistakes, overreaching, and all that stuff. We told you. He can't get power, the most optimum power in his punches because he spreads his legs. We told you he does the splits. That takes away from your power, even though you're the bigger, stronger guy. And you're always lower, regardless if you're bigger than the other opponent or not. We told you how he was gonna start getting desperate, which he did, and he was gonna start doing some goofy stuff. We told you about his running back drills, that we told you about the Ugas fight. All that stuff went down, guys. We do not cap on this channel. I don't play fanboy on this channel. I do not play proxy race war on this channel. What we are gonna get to, though, because I'm telling you right now, we're getting this spiritual warfare in this channel. That's what we will be doing. I'm done with boxing. I don't care. It's a make-believe sport. And I'm tired of make-believe. There's plenty of make-believe to go around. But if I'm just going to sit here and cap you like these other fanboy channels and create false narratives, guys, we don't do that on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I know people join for the boxing. I get it, man. And I've already went through this before. I know people that subscribe, they'll leave the channel. That's okay. If I am interested in the fight, I will come out with some boxing videos, you know. But there's a lot that I see going on in the world right now, guys. And I can't sit here and be quiet about it. I just can't, you know. Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Like I said, I saw some very odd things surrounding this fight. And I just knew that I had to speak on it. And like I said, we kept it to the technical, physical stuff. But there was, like I said, a lot of stuff going beyond this, you know, going on behind this fight, man. 
I'm just telling you, and Spence needs to get his life right. Um, you know, he needs to let go of this manifestation and, you know, whatever Muslim, whatever religion that is, that's not going to save you, Spence. I'm telling you that right now. I'm just being honest with you. You guys need to pray for Spence. You know, he needs it. And I, again, I understand people are very mad at this guy. And I know you want to take your frustrations out on Spence. But this is the time he needs people the most, man. He needs support. Uh, you know, he's still being influenced by them devils talking in his ear. And I saw that in Derek James. Why are you going to tell your fighter after you're here talking about punishment that he needs to hurry up and immediately activate that rematch? rematch? <laughs> you know? Especially after that type of beating that he took, man. You guys said it yourself. The punishment's worse than the knockout. And again, Crawford only used a couple tools on you. He didn't even use <laughs> three tools on you, guys. He, start, he used the footwork early on, but then he even stopped using the footwork. He knew you didn't have nothing for him. We told you that there's levels. We told you everything that basically was going to happen, guys. And this channel, we do it all the time. We're consistent on that. You know? Again, I'm not part of no proxy race war. I'm not part of no uh, fanboy. I'm not part of that stuff, guys. I saw the implications of this fight, you know, and I just knew what I was looking at and I knew what was going on. You know, I just say, you know, I hope God, he watches over both Spence and Terrence Crawford, their families and things like that. You know, I hope both men can live a long, prosperous life and they can live long enough to see their kids grow up, Lord willing, and that they're taken care of. They deserve it. They put on a very good fight tonight. This was a huge event. It brought out all the people tonight. Although those tickets and everything were expensive. History was made tonight. We got to see a Haley's Comet. You know what I'm saying? You saw something rare. Things that happened the first time. Man, that constitution was pretty bad on Errol Spence, though. We knew he didn't have that great a constitution because they kept him away from power punchers, guys. But I didn't know it was that bad, man. I really didn't. That was crazy, dude. Crawford exceeded my expectations easily, and he always does, guys. He always surprises and shocks me, man. It was too easy in there. That jab, again, whipping and causing damage. It's a jab designed to actually hit someone in their head. And in this case... We're telling you, he <laughs> that was making uh, Spence's brain, you know, flop around in that skull, man. Those weren't some, you know, little pity pat jabs, you understand? Those were some power punches for the most part. Those were making Spence drunk, you know what I'm saying? But Team Spence, they need to understand this. We'll come out with more videos after this, guys. But Team Spence, you need to take this into consideration. Crawford didn't even unveil that many tools against you, bro. Basically, the jab started to hook it. He timed you when you go backwards because you keep your hands by your waist like we talked about. But he has he didn't even go to the body or nothing on you. You know, the body shots that he did land, they had effect, especially a stiff jab in one of the later rounds. Uh, we need to talk about this too. PBC tried to tell a narrative at first, guys. Majority of people are going to say that Spence got the first round. You did not get the first round. I'm sorry. On this channel, we, we got to keep it a buck. I'm not going to spin narrative and I'm not going to fanboy to you dudes. Terrence Crawford landed about six or seven jabs in that round. They were clean. And he landed a left-hand counter up top. Spence did land two nice body shots on Crawford in that round. But that was definitely Crawford's round. And commentary was saying that uh, Errol Spence's jab is doing so great in this round. No, buddy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm concerned for Errol Spence, but at the same token, we're not going to lie. That's been the problem, Spence. People been telling you too many lies, and you want people to lie to you. You need to start dealing with the truth in reality, Errol Spence. And you need to stop listening to these clowns around you. All these dudes were using you.
I remember when you used to buy Yellow Beezy's plane tickets and everything, dude. And it, he'd tell you to do this on live. He's like, pay for my ticket, EJ. Nah, you got to get rid of these dudes, Errol Spence. You got to start considering your kids and just your family, bro, and your girl. You're 33 now? 32, I don't know how old this guy is. But you know, that part of your life, it's done, man. You don't have to be going out there partying and doing all this nonsense and hanging out with these types of people, man. I'm not saying become a hermit, but listen, you just gotta change your people up around you. You need more uplifting people around you, Errol Spence. And to tell you the truth, you need to get rid of uh, Derek James, I'm sorry. That man's not even a trainer, guys, he's really not. We told you it's the matchmaker that's been doing all the work for Derek James. Derek James is a fake trainer of the year. He don't tell, body, tell nobody nothing. He don't teach strategy. He really doesn't. It's been the matchmaker, guys. But yeah, this ain't the time to really attack Errol Spence. I know you guys were fooled by the TV and by the machine behind him. The deception and everything, the suggestive selling and everything that we told you about. But he's not the, he's not the guy you should be targeting. He's really not. You need to blame Alan, the PBC, and all that. They fed hit. They like fed him lies too, guys. He's just as deceived as you guys. You understand? We'll come out with more videos. This is just an initial reaction. I still haven't digested everything that I've seen. Typically, I like to watch a fight two or three times before I even come out with a video to talk about it. But this is just our immediate reaction, guys. You know, I haven't even digested the whole thing yet. But we will come out with more videos and uh you know like i said this ain't the time to uh not support errol spence he needs all the support he can get right now guys i see that he's still stubborn and he's still not really in reality yet right now he still has that ego guys still has that ego you know he needs to take some time off and he needs to let this stuff digest himself coming out here talking about the rematch stop trying to look cool for everybody else Earl Spence seriously stop trying to win the popularity contest Earl Spence start thinking about the things that truly matter we will talk to you guys later all right I'm probably going to try to find this fight and watch it again if I see anything else we'll go over it of course we got the highlight film coming you know, already, you know, you know, we got to do that. And this footage, you'll be on the internet, so I'll be able to watch it again, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, Errol Spence, the only round you could have gave him was round one, but he didn't win that round. Again, Crawford landed six or seven clean jabs. In fact, the first punch that landed was a Terrence Crawford jab, guys. So they tried to push the narrative at first, but you know, this was just one of those fights you couldn't push a narrative. And we told you popularity contests and narratives wasn't gonna mean nothing inside that ring. It wasn't gonna make your jab better. It wasn't gonna give you skills that people claim that you have that you don't, okay? Take it slow, Errol Spence, and start cutting out these devils out of your life, all right? We'll talk to you guys later, bye.